Thaxton Pipe Stoppers, the safe, convenient way to hydrostatic test. It was in 1926 that George Thaxton obtained the first patent for reusable hydrostatic test plugs. By eliminating the need to weld on end caps, this innovative tool has been saving users time and money for almost 75 years. Today, Thaxton Division of High Tech Machine Incorporated engineers and manufactures a superior high pressure test plug. However, pressure testing can be an extremely hazardous operation and safety precautions should be strictly adhered to. All connections, valves, flanges and other fittings should be checked for suitability to test pressure. If air or compressed gas is used as a test medium, a safety gag and barrier must be installed to prevent accidental discharge of the plug. It is of most importance to never stand in front of any test plug or other enclosure while a test is in progress. If a plug discharges during a test, serious injury or death could occur. The intent of this video is to provide you with knowledge about Thaxton hydrostatic test plugs. More importantly, we want to show the proper and safe way to install Thaxton test plugs. Currently, Thaxton manufactures two classes of stoppers an internal plug that grips on the inside diameter of a plain end pipe or tube and external plugs that grip on the outside diameter. Both of these designs are manufactured to fit custom applications and can be used in hydro test pressures up to 3000 psi. Most of Thaxton's pipe stoppers are manufactured to meet industry specifications and are available off the shelf. Type C test plugs are engineered to fit small inside diameters of one inch and below. The sealing is accomplished by an O-ring at the front of the plug. The allowable tolerance of the Type C is plus or minus five thousandths of an inch and all plugs are tested to 3,000 PSI before shipment. Pressures up to 10,000 PSI is achievable by special order and you must call the factory for any test over a plug's rated pressure. Type D test plugs are designed to fit inside diameters from over 1 inch up to 28 inches. All sizes utilize a thick neoprene sealed cup to form a watertight seal under pressure with allowable tolerance of plus or minus 35 thousandths. Plugs up to 12 inches in diameter are tested at 3000 psi. Over 12 inches, the standard pressure rating varies from 2500 psi down to 500 psi. The rated pressure can be found on the attached red test certificate. Contact Thaxton Engineering for any questions regarding your specific test requirements. Socket weld plugs are engineered to fit socket weld fittings. And similar to the Type C, the design requires a very short engagement depth. The allowable tolerance is plus or minus five thousandths. And they are pressure rated at 3000 PSI. Reverse pressure plugs are designed to test very short segments of pipe. By inserting the RP plug past the weld, a section of the pipe can be isolated and tested using a small amount of water. The allowable tolerance is plus or minus 35 thousandths, and they are rated at 3,000 psi. Type E test plugs are designed to be used on the exterior of plain end pipe or tubing. One size of plug can be used on all schedules of pipe. Due to the higher pressures involved, Type E plugs are manufactured with SAE threaded parts. Standard pressure for up to 4 inches is 10,000 PSI. And for larger sizes, you need to contact Thaxton Customer Service for rated pressures. Parts, Mechanics and Maintenance of your Thaxton Pipe Stopper All Thaxton internal test plugs work on the same general principle. By tightening a nut on the threaded mandrel, a set of serrated grips slide forward. These grips expand into the pipe wall as they slide across the tapered portion of the mandrel. The rubber seal also expands over a second taper on the mandrel during tightening of the nut. With the addition of pressure during testing, the seal cup and grips expand even further to form a tighter seal. The efficiency of the test plug depends on the overall condition of the plug at the time of use. There are three areas that need to be checked before every use to ensure proper gripping and sealing of the plug. First, the seal cup and O-rings need to be in good condition. If you find a seal cup or O-ring torn or worn, they need to be replaced. Seal kits are supplied as a complete package and are simple to replace. Disassemble the unit and remove the worn seal cup and O-rings. Reassemble the grips while replacing the O-rings 
and slide the replacement seal cup over the mandrel. When putting the grips back on the plug, make sure that the stamped end is facing the hex nut. Reinstall the washer and nut to complete the repair. The second area that needs check before use is the sharpness of the grips. Overly worn or rounded grips will prevent the plug from holding properly in the pipe. To replace grips, remove the worn parts and install the new grips into the O-rings and reassemble. Always make sure the stamped end of the grips are facing the hex nut. Finally, it is important that all the parts of the plug are working together. If a thread is stripped or a plug becomes cracked or bent, it must be replaced. Regular inspection of all plugs is a necessary step to ensure proper operating safety. Safe and proper installation. Before installing any type of stopper, first remove any accumulated dirt, rust particles, and scale from inside the pipe end. Remove any burrs or sharp edges that could damage the sealed cup or interfere with the proper operation of the stopper. At this time, verify the ID of the pipe to ensure that you have selected the proper plug and then check all valves and fittings to make sure they are suitable for testing pressure. Before pressure is added to the test pipe, always install the safety gag. Tighten the gag around the pipe with a bull ring over the end of the stopper. There should be slight slack in the chain and the ring should not be around any fittings. When adding fluid to the pipe for hydro test, it is important to vent all of the air before the pressure is added. Fill the pipe with water and vent any remaining air. Once the entire test system is filled with water and is vented, close all valve ports, vents, and the like. Increase pressure to the pipe and retighten the hex nut at approximately 20% of the test pressure. Always remember, never stand in front of a plug while it is under pressure. To remove the plug after the test is completed, make sure the pressure source is shut off and slowly open the valve to release all stored pressure. Rapid release of pressure could cause a plug to accidentally discharge. Completely drain the pipe assembly and you can loosen the plug's hex nut. Using a rubber mallet, tap the mandrel forward and the nut on both sides to release the grips. Slide the stopper out of the pipe and clean and dry it before storage. For type C, for pipes smaller than one inch in diameter, Start by applying a small amount of lubrication or light grease to the O-ring seal to help ease the installation. About 7 sixteenths of an inch of the grip area should remain outside of the pipe. Now tighten the hex nut until grips are firmly seated against the inside wall of the pipe or tubing. Fill the pipe with water and vent any remaining air. Water should run in a steady stream without bubbling. Once the entire test system is filled with water and the air is vented, Close all valve ports, vents, and the like. Now begin the test by slowly increasing pressure to the pipe. As pressure is increasing, stop at approximately 20% of test pressure and retighten the hex nut. Always remember, never stand in front of a plug while the pipe is under pressure. For type D sizes larger than 6 inches, you must install a vent tube. While holding the stopper at a slight angle, place the edge of the seal cup on the lip of the pipe and then insert evenly so the grips end up flush with the end of the pipe and the vent is placed at the highest elevation. Now tighten the hex nut until the grips are firmly seated against the inside wall of the pipe or tubing. For type D 18 inches and larger, the rim bolts need to be tightened by torquing them in an alternate fashion. Fill the pipe with water and vent any remaining air. On larger sizes, the vent tube is used to remove any air pockets. Once the entire test system is filled with water and the air is vented, close all valve ports, vents, and the like. Increase pressure to the pipe and retighten the hex nut at approximately 20% of test pressure. Always remember, never stand in front of a plug while pipe is under pressure. Socket weld plugs are installed in the same manner as Type C. Type E. Once the pipe is prepared, disassemble the nut and barrel and apply anti-seize compound to the barrel threads. Then lightly apply oil to the O-ring seal and be careful you do not get any oil on the grip area. Place the nut into the barrel just a short distance and then install the assembly onto the end of the pipe. Make certain that the barrel is seated solidly against the end of the pipe. Vent air and water, then continue with the test 
as with other plugs. Type RP. By using tool 1, which is the smaller diameter inside tool, screw the left hand tapered threads into the stopper and insert the stopper past the weld to be tested. Now slide tool 2 over tool 1 and use it to tighten the hex nut completely. Remove the tools from the stopper and install the left hand threaded anchor shackle. By using a chain or cable, connect the stopper to a hook weld on the outer edge of the blind flange. Install the blind flange, fill the pipe with water, and vent any remaining air. Begin testing by slowly increasing pressure into the pipe. Some final thoughts. All Thaxton pipe stoppers are designed to provide you with safe and accurate hydrostatic testing if installation procedures are followed correctly. Let's do a quick review. Always verify that you have the right size plug for the pipe being tested. These are close tolerance tools and care must always be taken that you have the right tool for the job. Check the plug for proper assembly and any worn parts. 1. Check the sealed cup and O-rings to see if they are worn and need replaced. 2. Replace the grips if they are worn or rounded. 3. On inspection, if you see any cracks or strip threads, it's time to replace the plug. Verify proper installation and use before and during testing. 1. Make sure the grips expand evenly. 2. Make sure all air is vented from the pipe before pressure is added. 3. Always increase pressure slowly and retighten at about 20% of test pressure. Always make safety a top priority. 1. Be sure all valves and fittings are suitable for desired test pressure. 2. Use a safety gag and barricade whenever possible. 3. Never stand in front of any test plug or fitting while it is under pressure. Thaxton test plugs are reusable tools that can save you valuable time on your testing procedures and will often pay for themselves after only one use. This video has been produced to answer common questions regarding the safe use of Thaxton pipe stoppers. If you have other specific questions or need additional information, please feel free to contact us. Thaxton, a division of high-tech machines.